This episode on the King Cuber is brought to you in part by SpeedCubeShop.com and TheCubicle.us. Today on the King Cuber, I will be not unboxing a Welcome to the King Cuber with the Cube, a channel that brings you weekly Cuban unboxings and reviews. I'm your host, AJ Nugent. Now, today is not a cubing unboxing, but is an unboxing of the wireless Bluetooth headphones made by Creative Labs. Now, to make up for this week's usual Monday's unboxings, I will be doing a review of the QJ Pyramids this coming Thursday. Now, enough of this boring stuff. Let's get to the unboxing. Let's go, let's go, let's go. In the box, all that came was the wireless WP300 headphones costing at the retail price of 80 smacks or a temporary bargain price at eBay for the used one for 42 smacks. So about 50% off is wear it off to your wallet. And this is actually a used pair and I've been using it for a day already and it's very nice actually. No problems with it. All that I am not liking with these headphones is comfortability when it comes to applying it uh, to your ear and keeping it there for at least like an hour or two. A wire that is a 2.0 jack com connecting to a computer and of course the port for the wireless headphones where it connects down below on the left bud. It just connects like that. Oops. Oh, so all I have to do is connect to the other side and it should be charging. This is only used for charging purposes. I really wish that they did have a cord so that you can connect it to your uh, music devices or anything that you use for the headphones so if you don't want to use the wireless headphones they should at least have that type of adapter. An adapter is also usable such as my iPhone wall charger so if you do not want to or if you do not have a computer that's acceptable to you and you want to charge it anywhere you go then yes an iPhone charger is very acceptable to be used. Anything that does connect USB like that connects it to a wall then it should be fine. Oh, I think I put, put it wrong. Yeah, I did. There you go. A bag for storage use, says creative right there. And these papers that does explain... Who cares? On to the headphone specs. These headphones at a full charge last for an approximate eight hours. A full charge takes up to an hour. The frequency response, or to dumb it down, how good the sound range is. These headphones range from 18 to 22,000 hertz. To compare on how good this is, the Beats headphones by Dr. Dre are at 20 to 20,000 hertz. So this shows a great sound quality for these headphones, let alone to be wireless. Sensitivity are at 12 dB. The wireless technology used for this headset are the Bluetooth 2.1 plus EDR. The range is anything up from 10 to or 33 feet before the headphones start to act funny or disconnect. Now let's test some range on this bad boy. Now again, this is compatible to anything that is Bluetooth worthy, such as my awesome MacBook Pro right there. It says Pro, not Air, like it's lame self. It's MacBook Pro. But anyways, let's just do a test run on the sound quality. Most tests should not be actually through um, the mic on an iPhone or anything that is recording because it's not very trustworthy, reliable. Uh, tests, I guess, because it is not the same as hearing it with your ears itself. But I can show you on how loud it can be. But just to show you that there you do have a volume rocker here, and that click means that it is at its loudest on the headphones, but you can adjust the loudness here on iTunes and on the default um, volume here on the laptop itself. Now I will show you a range uh, test so on how far it can go and, this, and I'm pretty ac I'm actually pretty happy about it actually so let's get right to it. So I'm gonna be playing Sweet Pea by Amos Lee. I won't actually thoroughly play the song. I will speed it up to the part part where I am all the way far apart from my laptop. So without further ado, let's play the song. And they are coming from these. And I will now drift away from my laptop and show you how far these can get. So about here is when it starts getting disconnected. 
as you can hear it's starting to lag a little so this is how far I was actually I will I will pause it now because I do not want to get copyrighted and there is a pause button right there alright so this is how far I was actually wow still keeps playing this is how far I was so we can all say that this wireless headset is very very reliable from distance wise and it does have a really good sound when you actually put it in the ears the only thing that I think is a con on this headphones is that it's a, it's the buds are very small so that can be very irritating for large eared people even if for the people for that have small ears because the cups are so small that after an hour it does get a little annoying and it starts hurting your ears a bit but that can be fixed by just changing the literal buds here if you're a little technical and you can uh, have the techniques on how to take these small buds my ear is literally like that small not even kidding you compared to my hand it's literally really small so do I recommend them? of course yes I definitely do for wireless is it user friendly? It is not very user friendly, but it can get there. Overall, I do accept this as an awesome product. Let's go! At the cubicle, they sell some of the best cubes out on the market, such as the Dian and Shengshaos. What they mostly specialize in is modifying Dian brand cubes to your own personal settings. Their unwinnable pricings will get you jaw dropping. As of May 2nd, Shengshao 7x7 is now available at the cubicle, so check out their website down below. You won't regret it. Thank you for watching the third episode of the King Cuber. Please like and comment on this video if you do like my video. Please tell me what you think down below in the comment section. Now, and I will see you guys next time.